Hello guys and welcome back to episode 15 Sweet, 15 episodes so far Awesome Um Hello Personally, I like snow I, I, I don't know why, why Crawl hates it But anyway Gonna start the episode by uh, pumping some fuel into my Well, oil, sorry, not fuel Into my almost empty tanks And... We'll go from there. And that is pretty much all of it. It ran dry. Oh well. I will take the pump, put that piece of block there to, to avoid it from falling down. And I think I'm gonna collect the pipe. There's still some, um, a few gallons of oil running in the pipe trying to um, find its way in the tanks and uh, I'll progressively take down the pipe as um, it's getting emptied or drained so yeah oh well I guess I'll have to find some more eventually or install the vat one of the two anyway I'm gonna clean this up and uh, meet you guys in a sec I'm waiting for the wheat farm to produce enough wheat so I can um, go ahead and automate the feeding of the cows. So in the meanwhile, why don't I take about 15 hibachis and various other materials like bellows. Do I have any around here? Mm, obviously not. Well, I'll go ahead and make some bellows and whatever else, whatever else I'll need and um, Meet you in the basement of uh, the warehouse. That thing above. Uh, and I have a 5 by 3 hole here. I am going to place two bellows here in the wall. And um, torches underneath. These will power our hibachis. Quite like so. Make sure I leave some space to get up. Alrighty. Now I don't think I need to go down there in a anytime soon, so I could just cover these up. And I'm thinking all those particles spamming my window on my screen is not really such a good thing. We will need the crucibles there and there, and they're not really ready yet, because we will need to stoke the fire. So uh, I'm, I know I have some uh, mechanical power over here, but I need to find it. Let me do that. Uh, <coughs> here's the setup I went for. I have this turntable here, which was controlling the bellows for my auto kill. I have went ahead and um, changed the delay on it for the second setting and since um, adding this red piece of redstone here will make a kink and the turntable will not be affected by um, this piece of redstone I had to add another torch so that you are actually seeing two torches if I can to move here you can see so um, this provides plenty, well, a sufficient amount of delay for a stoked fire right there. And uh, let me go ahead and plug this hole right there. And you might wonder why do I have these two cut off? Well, I will need a axle right here. And then I will need to orient it this way. And if I am to leave it like that, it will probably burn. So this way I pretty much prevent it from burning. Or at least that's the plan. I have blocks on all the sides and soon enough I will have one gearbox in the front. I will also need one here. So I might as well place that there. So now this shouldn't catch fire. Uh, this gearbox and this gearbox and also the axle axle might catch fire, but uh, we'll probably add some pressure blades to 
create a well a block that is not air for the air the fire to spread. Actually, I don't think I need that block there. Just um, here and here, I would I would say. And I don't have any pressure plates. Otherwise, I would um, place them here. Well, I guess I could make some. Yeah, two pressure plates should be good. Yeah, let's prevent fire from spreading to these two gearboxes. Cool. Now, um, let me show you something pretty interesting in regards to crucibles and um, actually, wait, no, the output, yeah, it's there. Okay. Let me set up this demonstration and uh, I'll be back to show you. Alright, so I have a power line going all the way there and into that gearbox. And I have an item here which pretty much stops this gearbox by the means of powering that pressure plate. Pressure plate. Watch what happens when I pick up the item. Oh, that thing tilts. Pretty cool. And not to think of it, I don't think I needed these two hibachis. How about I place a few pieces of cobblestone there and step off the pressure plate. The crucible tilts and spills all the beans there. And if I am to place more items here, they will end up here. So everything is fine. Well, everything is fine. I mean, um, this is a neat little I thing. An added functionality to the um, crucibles. So, um, the thing I want to do with them, first of all, is prevent mechanical power from reaching there, like so. And then I want to have them synced. So that um, make make let me make sure this is too long. Yes, it is. I want them synced because I want both of these to tilt at the same time. So I have one gearbox here, one there, and one there. So I'll probably need three of them. So one, two, three. Right, and I have one, two, hmm. Uh, do I have a lever here? Yes, I do. Put it there and stop the power and place that there. And then, what? How is that powered? Oh. I see. Uh, what is? I see why that is powered. Hmm. Give me a second to figure this out. Actually, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is place one there and one of those there, with an axle going like that, and. I have two gearboxes and then the crucible and then this gearbox, the gearbox and then the crucible. So if I am to place a lever here and power the block above the um, gearbox, they are in sync now. Cool. Alrighty. Now I think I'm going to uh, go remove the hibachis below these two blocks. They are being wasted now. So uh, hmm, yeah. I'll do that off camera. Got those out of there, also went ahead and fortified this place a little bit. Now I'm gonna put this spout aside, take my obsidian pipe and I shall put it right here. And then I think I will want a gold pipe. Hmm, do I want? I guess so. And a torch to power said pipe. Put it over here, and mm, how should I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I'm thinking like this. Uh, put a 
example of pipes. Do I have any normal? Yes, I do. Low friction pipe over here and over there. And if I am to right click this with an empty hand, so white goes up and green goes to the side. I want white to be cobblestone and stone on the green. I'll probably need to loosen these filters, but for now it should be good. So, <coughs> I want to connect this top side to this crucible and also to this one. And I actually need to go down one level to be able to reach both of those. Pretty cool. So, um, all I need to do now is put the spout right over there and these two tanks above and I also went ahead and brought some um, low friction waterproof pipe I'll probably route it through the back and I think I'll also need to go up and meet the pipe that is going to my quarry so let me do that off camera and meet you guys back here to watch the first few drops of water and I think I'll need to dig around back and this is the column I used to get back up as I was doing that and I'll need one lever here I think hopefully uh, one line to power both these uh, this then the quarry will be enough if not I'll have to draw separate lines separate pipes I mean but basically what I want happening what I want to happen is let me go ahead and put a chest here for the time being I will eventually go ahead and um, do, oh no nope, I did not want to break that the only thing is that um, you get to keep your filter even if you break that side of the diamond pipe. So I'm going to fill these with cobble, uh, probably half a stack in each because apparently I don't have two, st two stacks of cobble on me. And give this thing a, uh, a try. Cool. Now we have one, two stones in each as soon as this one finishes, cool. Let's go ahead and flick this lever and allow both crucibles to tilt. And everything should flow out of there in a second into the obsidian pipe. Should cross the gold pipe and split into two, more or less. But I actually have to go ahead and flick this one back up so the crucibles will be faced up. Nice. And I shall have about five stones here and just cobblestone here and here. Sweet. So um, I could potentially run this, this tilting thing. I could hook up my um, my timer over there in the cave to this one. So I will, will tilt these each six minutes. Should be pretty good. But uh, in my tests uh, I have seen that um, two of these crucibles are not enough to keep up with uh, the production of a quarry so I'll probably have to add some more but uh, I am not running the quarry 24-7 I'm running it now and then so um, for the little time that I'm running the quarry it should be good plus I could um, I could say put a chest above with a um, wooden pipe and an that will feed here. I'll have an iron pipe here. So I would, I don't know, dump five stack, I don't know, chest full there of uh, cobble and it will aut automatically turn into stone. Maybe add a few crafting tables and turn stone into stone bricks. I don't know, it's a possibility, it's an idea. But anyway, uh, this could be fed. Uh, straight from uh, my quarry so I could um, the output of that will be stone pretty neat I, I say one thing that occurred to me is um, items were traveling slow on this portion as the water was going down and then from that it would, they will go to a side how about I lower what the, the um, level where the spout is by doing something like this and now everything should be good I also need to lower the pipe like give me that thank you where's my pipe over there 
by doing something like this. And now, if I am to test it again, uh, and I shall need one lever, oh, there, okay, one lever here. If I am to tilt these um, crucibles, the item should be flowing right along, and what's going on? Oh, I know what, what's going on. I broke the, this axle from over here. Okay. Where is that? Oh, there. Uh, hmm. I need to figure out how to connect power to this one. Hmm. Give me a second. Here's one way to link it. It's a little bit messy, I agree. <coughs> I tried um, with a lever here and a torch here so that uh, when the crucibles are tilted up, this one will not be tilted. And actually, I think it might work if I increase the delay here. Hmm. Give me a second. Let's see if this will work or not. But I'll need to remove this. Uh, the reason why uh, they it did not work is because the water would, uh, as you see, the items would flow here and the water would recede before the items have time to reach the subsidian pipe. So uh, maybe with the less, with a little bit of delay there, well now the crucibles were upright. Let me test a little bit, like so. Yep, it doesn't have enough uh, time to reach the obsidian pipe, so I guess I will just go ahead and put a lever there and keep it running. And this will be the input line coming from my, um, which I'm gonna call it, clock over there. Okay, let me go ahead and um, beautify this thing and uh, I'll be back to do something else. Uh, like I said, I needed a little bit of um, organizing, so to speak. So what I did is uh, got rid of the chest here, and the pipe that was here, and the diamond pipe that was here. And I'm now actually running it up to this diamond pipe. This diamond pipe has two cobblestone outputs and two stone inputs. Um, it outputs the stone above on the white path. And I have stone on the blue path, so that when I am feeding it cobblestone from the above, uh, it will not go down and end up here where this um, obsidian pipe is. So how about we, sh we give it a little bit of a test, it should work. And I was stepping on that pressure plate, that one, that's why this one took a little bit of a time to um, til tilt. Oh, actually, they seem to be a little bit off. Nah, just me. Okay, let, let me go up and um, see where those pieces of stone landed. They're right here. I was testing the setup a little bit to make sure none uh, of the cobblestones are going that way. So. All I have to do now is go above and um, link that pipe with this one, these ones. Probably link it here or something. Actually, why don't I do it right now? Like so. La di da di da. And hope I have enough. Yeah, I do. Okay. Nice. So all the stone will go up and into my chests. <coughs> I think I might want. Hmm, so what's going down are the you know these. Hmm. 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 Thinking of a way to feed cobblestone directly there, and half of it keep it here so as not to overload the system below. Mm, give me a second. Would you look at that mess of pipe? I ended up redesigning where the um, initial diamond pipe was, 
So it is now on the outside and I just realized I can fill those back in. And it has on the white line, it go, it sh will output cobblestone, dirt and gravel. And the white line goes all the way down into the crucibles. And nope, that's not what I wanted. On the green line, there's there are the valuables and they go into that chest over there. On the blue line it is still not connected so uh, I will get uh, stuff that this diamond pipe doesn't know what to do with. And on the black line it, it is going down to my kiln for smelting iron ore and uh, whenever I get the gold ore I will also place it there because I ran out of gold ore since I am smelting all of them into gold bars and if we are to go down where the crucible is well I made, made some pipe routing and all that stuff I only to replace this cobblestone with stone but this diamond pipe this is the previously named white line it's coming from there into here and Dirt and gravel get separated and they travel above into the existing storage um, all those those three rows of chests uh, I have obsidian here as placeholder basically when um, things get out of here and into that I don't want them to go back up or um, when um, I don't know stuff gets from there I don't want any of them to travel back to the back blue line so I've placed obsidian there because I will never get obsidian on the white line or out of this obsidian pipe I have cobblestone to the green and yellow lines feeding these two crucibles and the output stone gets mixed with dirt and gravel and travels above and above equals that pipe over there which is connected to this middle um, stack of chests oh, and they all travel here and um, eventually they will find their uh, their way into these three rows of chests uh, what w the reason why I did it like so is because I did not want to use another diamond pipe for this routing so I just moved the previ the diamond pipe that was here outside and did what, had I, what I had showed you and I think this is the final setup as you can see I have the quarry running at the moment and the, it's feeding cobblestone into these I have a torch uh, keeping the um, what am I gonna call it? The gearbox turned off for the moment so that these uh, crucibles will stay upright. And uh, I have a line here and it's going all the way back and I probably should add some light here to prevent mob spawning. And this redstone line is, ignore this for a second, it's going all the way back into my um, my timer thingy which should still be running. I, yeah, I think I, I saw it uh, activate for a second while I was building that uh, thing I told you the guys to ignore. But anyway, hey, get out of my way Axel. That thing, uh, this thing is a pulse lengthener, um, self-resetting RS no latch. It is inverted because I am getting a constantly on signal from here and I need a um, pulse on. what I do? oh, torch uh, I need a pulse on and then pulse off for this machine to work so I have it inverted and whenever the timer activates this torch activates activates this um, self-resetting RS no latch which then uh, outputs all the way here all the way up this redstone line and all I have to do now is connect it to this torch so whenever the RS nor latch will fire this redstone line will fire turning off this torch and tilting these uh, crucibles 
And the reason why I had to use that uh, redstone, uh, that RS Norlash thingy, is because if I were to tilt the crucibles for a little time, like, I don't know, like this, they see they don't stay down for enough of a time, and ju basically just to um, a few of the stacks get out of them. But by using that, um, self-resetting knowledge there, uh, more of the items get, uh, more of the stacks get out of these. Now mind you, there might not be all of the cobblestone stacks that uh, get expelled by tilting it, but eventually as uh, the cobblestone gets uh, cooked into stone, it will um, deplenish. Uh, no, I mean, uh, it will empty itself as more and more stone gets filtered out of the system and into the chests. But that will usually happen after the quarry has run its, uh, has finished its operation. It's running thingy. I'm a little bit uh, worried that we might overflow the system with too much cobble, so I'm kind of grabbing a few of them as uh, here and there prevent oh, I don't want to open that door those doors it's night outside we install these two chests here I'll probably I don't know put some more cobble in there but uh yeah as you can see we have some stone from uh, testing and whatnot might add these to the chest and oh, sweet more gold nice so um yeah I'm running the quarry right now so yeah, that's about, I think I'm gonna call the project done. I, depending on my needs, I might add another unit like this. And, what? What's that? What just dropped? Huh, piece of gravel. Gravel. Why? Hmm, that usually only happens That only happens when... Uh, oh, you know what's happening? I think... Oh, I think I know what hap what's happening. I think the gravel doesn't know where to go. Either because that chest is filled... Nope. Either because gravel is finding its way, way down here yep it's going down and since it arrives at the diamond pipe with no filter selected for it it's coming from a filtered um, junction it will just drop because there is no other way for it to go what the fuck was oh oh right <laughs> that scared me it just fired almost emptied the contents pretty cool yeah, I think I'm going to go add a... Come on, this this staircase is annoying. I will need to go and add an, ir an iron pipe here to prevent stuff from going down. Yep. Let me go do that. There you go. Iron pipe and then orient it so, it's ab so that it's pointing up and everything should be fine now. Sweet. And I am not sure, but I think that shall be it for this episode. Let me go check the time. Yep, I think this is where this episode ends. Plus, it's getting kind of late and I need to record, re render this. So, I hope you guys did not find this boring. Uh, if you have any ideas regarding how to improve this, now mind you, I had to put those two blocks there and the get rid of two hibachis. So, these are working at about uh, seven, nine, seven per nine of their um, speed, seven over nine, yeah, seven over nine of their total, s their full speed. So other than uh, making another unit like this, I have no idea how to speed this up to be able to cope with uh, an output of the quarry. But if you guys do, by all means, please let me know in the comments. And the reason I uh, have built this is not primarily for turning cobblestone into stone, although that is uh, a good thing. 
but I could have made a stone factory with uh, lava falling on top of uh, water but primarily for uh, other things like uh, melting, automatically melting tools from um, I don't know zombie spawners probably or uh, turning sand into glass uh, uh, again automatically so yeah it's a uh, it's a good thing to have one and I've, I don't know it was more of a challenge for me to accomplish that and I think I have gracefully passed it yeah that's I'm going going to call it gracefully passed it anyway thank you guys for watching and I shall see you guys